Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna to be talking about an unfortunate situation involving ProZD. Now to make this clear, I'm not making a video just because a content creator blocked me. If that was the case, I would have hundreds of videos to make, but I'm talking about this because ProZD is not just another YouTuber. Through his voice acting, he has become a member of the anime industry. And when I see a member of the industry making tweets that are calling for the censorship of anime because they find it personally weird, that's concerning to me. And beyond that, this whole situation reminded me that ProZD is connected with a very bad group of actors on YouTube, which is something we'll discuss later in the video. But first, who is ProZD? I'm sure you've seen his content at some point. His YouTube channel has nearly 4 million subs. He's been making videos for about a decade, I would imagine, at this point. He makes a lot of skits about anime and voice acting, and admittedly, they're quite funny, but he does other things, and over time, he has really focused on his voice acting career, which has led to opportunities to work very closely with Crunchyroll, doing voice acting roles for them as well, as well as other members of the industry like Rooster Teeth and studios like that. But here's the thing, as he's become a member of the anime voice acting industry, his tweets have started to look like he's a member of the anime voice acting community. Here's this one he made yesterday that got a lot of people pretty upset. So it says, Can I get a One Piece-esque re-edit of Made in Abyss, but instead it's just editing out all the creepy stuff, just call it No Creep. Now you can see by the number of quotes, people didn't like this. And for good reason. Number one, Made in Abyss is a very edgy and dark anime and franchise. Okay, there's a lot of gore and sexual content, and people going into this series should be aware of that and not surprised by it. It's like going to McDonald's and being upset that it smells like fried food. Like watching Made in Abyss, you're going to see some unsettling themes, and that is the whole point of this series. However, he goes off to not only call people who consume this stuff creepy, but he also wants to call for censorship. And I'm not going to argue with semantics here. It is very clear he'll later try to say that this re-edit is not actually a call for censorship, but just a joke. But I think anyone thinking objectively here knows that this is a call for censorship. If you want to remove things from an anime that you personally find creepy, that is censorship. It's clear as day. And again, with the whole thing calling people creepy and, and, and implying as such, as a member of the voice acting community and someone who wants to voice act in the anime industry, you shouldn't be calling fans of your medium creepy just because of your own personal tastes. It's not a good look. And this was something pointed out in the many quotes criticizing him. This person in quotes saying, can I have an edit of this anime where everything I don't like is deleted so it appeals only to me? By the way, I'm trying to be a voice actor for this kind of stuff. I have no idea why you're concerned about that. People in the industry hate what we enjoy, which is pretty much in line with what I've been saying. But of course, you can see already that earned them a block. And ProZD, every time he gets in trouble with tweets, he goes on a blocking spree, blocking anyone who's either criticizing or even interacting with posts that are criticizing him. And he would double down later, making a quote of his original tweet saying, this was really meant to be just an offhand joke and not a damning criticism of Made in Abyss nor a call for censorship, it's a good thing randos online are extremely normal and level-headed. Now, I'll say this. Uh, reading your initial tweet as a call for censorship is a very level-headed view of what you said. And again, try and diminish all the people criticizing you to irrational and not normal people is not exactly the play when these are anime fans, fans of the, the medium you want to be a part of but i don't know who made this edit like the second they're making wojack edits of you like you're finished but this really captures what's going on here so it's schrodinger's criticism so when he made his tweet if nobody gave backlash to his call for censorship he would just be proudly displaying his opinion and wouldn't feel the need to back it up but because he got backlash he turned it into well it was just a joke now if this is a joke can you please explain to me where the punchline is where is the funny because i don't really understand what part is supposed to be funny from that original tweet calling people creeps for watching made in abyss or calling for censorship of things you find creepy which which part of that is supposed to be a joke 
It's very odd to me. And going beyond that, it's just a deflection, right? I mean, if you're going to make a take like that, you should at least stand by it. Just stand by it and own up to it. If you want to make that statement, you look worse by trying to turn around and say, oh, I was just kidding all along. You know, I was just pretending to be stupid. Well, no, it, it's a bad look. And also, because it's a joke, I have to evaluate it based on who you are. And admittedly, whether you really like him or not, ProZD knows how to make a joke. He has plenty of very funny videos. He clearly knows how to make a good joke. So, like, if this was your attempt at making a joke, I don't really, I don't buy it. I don't buy that it was a, an actual attempt to make a joke. But moving on, I would make this tweet and this would earn me a block as well. So you can read my tweet. It's pretty much what I've been saying in this video. Is anything here pushing the boundaries? Is this harassment? Am I doing anything crazy? I don't think so. I think this is a pretty tame response to this whole situation, but nonetheless, I got blocked. And you know what? Blocking people is okay. Freedom of association is very important on places like Twitter. You don't have to deal with anyone. It's within your right to block anyone for any reason, but it's also within people's rights to determine how this makes you look. And when you're going around blocking everyone who is mildly criticizing you, it makes you look insecure. And it's not a very good look, especially for someone who's a member of the anime industry like ProZD is. Now, this whole situation, including the block, triggered something in my mind. It triggered a memory of a very bad experience I had a few months ago, and it involves this channel right here. Now, if you're familiar with the Rev lore, you probably just had a shiver of disgust going through your body seeing the name The One Piece Podcast, okay? So for those who don't know or need a, a refresher on their memory, the One Piece podcast, every single member of that team has me blocked on every social media account. And they claim right on the front page of their YouTube channel that ProZD is a friend of the show. And that is a pretty, uh, pretty clear thing because he's also worked with them in several of their podcasts. Now, why do I bring these people up? Well, only a few months ago, I made this video. Now, I'm going to censor the artwork in question because... I don't trust YouTube and I'm not giving them another chance to file a false strike against my channel. But a member of their One Piece podcast made an illustration of the character Yamato from One Piece. Now, at the time, a few months ago, there was a debate about whether or not Yamato was trans. And in the photo, you have Yamato wafting her hand in disgust of the official card of the character Yamato. And there's even little stink lines coming from the official card. And the official card was made by Oda, the creator of One Piece. And in that card, it states that Yamato is female. Now, I don't really care for the purposes of this video what you think about Yamato as a character and what gender, whether they're trans or not. My whole point of that video was to say, calling the creator of a character's opinion gross and unwanted is disrespectful. And that should be criticized. Well, the creators of the One Piece podcast did not agree with this. And they filed a false copyright strike against my channel. And it did get back up. Let me make that clear. It was a rare YouTube W where within only a few hours after I brought attention to this on Twitter, they intervened, they restored the video, and rejected their attempt to strike down the video. Now, that's the good news there. But... Nothing came out of that situation. They they dug their heads in the sand and hid from all this. They blocked me on everything. They never acknowledged that they did anything wrong. And of course, ProZD is a friend of that podcast and a regular on it. So that's a little less than surprising, I guess. And uh, based on everything we've seen today, these things, are they're just not good looks, okay? And let me make it clear, I am not at this point going to accept or expect an apology from anyone involved with the One Piece podcast, but still to this point, not a single one of them have admitted that they did something wrong. They still hold on to that and ignore anyone talking about it. And you know what? I could at least respect someone coming out and saying, yeah, we, we went a little too far with that false copyright strike because that is the cardinal sin of content creation, filing false strikes to take down people who disagree with you. That is the worst thing you can ever do as a content creator. And this whole situation with ProZD reminded me of his connection to this troubling podcast. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, please share all of your thoughts about the situation in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed 
and I will see you next time.